Bedtime Story, Emperor Ming, and the Healing Song of the Nightingale. In ancient China, there was a kind emperor named Ming. His palace was like a magical castle filled with beautiful gardens and shimmering ponds. Ming loved to listen to stories, especially those about wonderful creatures like birds. One day, a friendly merchant visited the palace. He told Ming about a special bird called a nightingale, whose song was the most beautiful sound in the world. Your Majesty, imagine a bird whose song can make the stars dance in the sky. The merchant said, his eyes shining with excitement. The nightingale's melody is so enchanting that even the flowers bloom brighter just to hear it. Ning was enchanted by the merchant's description and wanted to hear the nightingale's song for himself. Oh, how wonderful that must be! He exclaimed. I wish to hear the nightingale's song with my own ears. Soldiers, please find this extraordinary bird and bring it to my palace. The soldiers set out on a grand adventure, searching high and low for the nightingale. Finally, after many days of searching, they found the bird singing happily in a quiet forest. Its feathers were bright and colorful, and its song was like music from heaven. The soldiers brought the nightingale back to the palace, where Ming eagerly listened to its sweet song. Oh. What a beautiful sound! Ming exclaimed, his eyes filled with wonder. Thank you, dear merchant, for bringing this treasure to my palace. The nightingale's song is truly a gift to us all. But there was trouble in the palace. Ming's advisor, a jealous man named Wu, wanted all of Ming's attention for himself. He didn't like the nightingale because Ming spent so much time with it. Liu devised a sneaky plan to make Ning believe that the mechanical bird was better than the real nightingale. He secretly ordered the finest craftsmen in the land to create a bird made of shiny metal and gears. Its song was as sweet as honey, and its feathers sparkled like diamonds. One day, when Ning was strolling through the palace gardens, you presented him with the mechanical bird. Your Majesty, behold the marvel of our artisans. Liu declared, his voice dripping with false admiration. This bird sings with a voice as pure as the nightingale's, yet it never tires or grows weary. Ning was mesmerized by the mechanical bird's song and believed it to be superior to the real nightingale. He ordered the nightingale to be locked up in a golden cage away from everyone. The nightingale was sad and missed singing for Ming. Its beautiful song was gone from the palace, and Ming's heart felt empty. Days passed, and Ming's health began to decline. Without the nightingale's song to lift his spirits, he grew weaker with each passing day. The palace was filled with sadness as Ming's illness worsened. But one day, the nightingale managed to escape from its cage and flew back to Ming's palace. Ming was overjoyed to see his friend again. I'm sorry, dear nightingale. He said, tears in his eyes. I should never have locked you up. Your song is the most beautiful sound in the world. The nightingale forgave Ming and sang its sweet song once more. As the melody filled the palace, a miracle occurred. Ning's health began to improve, and color returned to his cheeks. The healing power of the Nightingale's song restored Ning's strength and vitality. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Ning realized the error of his ways. Forgive me, dear Nightingale. He whispered. I was wrong to let jealousy cloud my judgment. Your song is a treasure beyond compare and I am blessed to have you as my friend. As for the jealous advisor, he was punished for his dishonesty. He learned that being kind and truthful is much better than being jealous and mean. From then on, Ming and the Nightingale were the best of friends. Their friendship brought joy to the palace, 
and their story was told throughout the land as a tale of friendship and forgiveness.